Oh, okay, we're gonna get into this. I'm a little bit nervous about talking about this and kind of diving into the analytics because it has been an emotional journey for me. I will be honest with you. It has been really tough, but really rewarding at the same time. And I'm super happy to be here. And the reason why I'm here sharing this with you is because I am a small creator. I make my own clothes and I share them on YouTube. And I wanted to create this video so that people who are in my niche or a similar niche or a similar journey to mine have something to reference as they go through their own YouTube process and trying to figure it out and feeling like maybe what they're experiencing is actually pretty normal. But what you don't see is that year long struggle behind the scenes. And I wanted to talk about that with you. I started posting my first video in 2021 on February 7th. I got monetized on February 24th. 2022. It was almost exactly a year from when I started to when I got monetized. What we're going to be doing is essentially going month by month, looking at my analytics, and I'm going to kind of tell you the story of my monetization journey. I'm ready. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm ready. It's time. If you see me look over here, it's because my computer is over here. Let's get into it. All right. I'm looking at my analytics and I had 11.3 thousand views for February, uh, 1.1 thousand watch hours, 364 additional subscribers and $2.56 in revenue. Looking at the videos that did the best in that period, I can really see that I had started to put in the work to get my channel to a good place. And it's really paying off here because three out of the five best performing videos were from 2022. So now looking at March, I had 10.5 thousand views, 1,000 watch hours, plus 325 subscribers. So again, they're coming in finally, which is really nice. And an estimated revenue of 64.41. But the top content for this period, again, were all recent videos. So, or at least three out of five were recent videos. I think that's really cool to see that, like I mentioned, I was really picking up my game. I was really focusing on scripting my videos. I was really focused. I knew what I wanted. I was like going after it. So all of the rolling success from March kind of stopped in April because I moved that month and I was not able to make videos. So I only posted one video and it shows in the analytics. So 5.8 thousand views, 491 uh, watch hours, plus 204 subscribers and 28.98 revenue. I noticed that more of the older videos were starting to get a little bit of traction as well as that one video that I posted in April. In May, things are starting to look up again. We're, we're growing. I posted five videos in May, so I was ready to like jump back on it. So I had 12.1 thousand views, 1.1 thousand watch hours, plus 381 subscribers. So we're getting back into that big subscriber push and then uh, 85.72 estimated revenue. So that number is climbing again, which was really nice to see. I'm looking at my top content for this period, four of them are from May, and then one of them is from December, 2021. And that one is really starting to climb. It's at my second highest video. And you'll see in the next month how that really kind of like gets pushed over the edge and starts to really grow. And that is where things get really wild for me. June is by far my best month in the whole year that I have been monetized. So I will take a look here. It's 93.9 thousand views, 9 thousand watch hours, 3.9 thousand subscribers, and 637.64. Over $600 in revenue. That was a crazy so excited. I was like, can I start paying my rent with YouTube? No, it goes downhill from here. I'm sorry. So I'm going to spoil it for you, but you will maybe want to stay tuned to the end to see how much I made in total for the year. So the culprit is this video from December 2021. It received 46,475 views in that one month. This video is not necessarily a viral video. Like, this was viral for me. This was wild for me. Getting all these comments, watching this video from December just like blow up. It felt so crazy and so nice and it just felt like finally everything that I ha had been working for was paying off and that feeling it just felt, I felt relief, I felt excitement and then I felt nervousness and pressure because I was like how am I going to keep this up and I didn't know how to keep it up because this video was from December and I was like I have kind of changed directions a bit since then like I don't know how to get that again and it became this really interesting Thing where I was just trying to like, I'm like, do I have to wait for the next video to blow up like months later? 
you know what, I just felt lost at this point. Cause I was like, this is so cool. I don't know how to do this again. Cause I didn't, it wasn't like I was reacting to one video that was recent and I could just keep riding off of that. This video was from months ago and it was about a specific moment in time. It was like a reflection. And so I just remember feeling really great, but also just so much pressure. I did not know how to keep this up. The come down from June to July was pretty intense, but I still was just riding that high of people finally coming to my channel that I wasn't really like, upset about it. I was just like, oh, this is more realistic probably. Maybe I can maintain like this number. And so I got 54,000 views, 5.1 thousand watch hours, uh, 1,900 subscribers, and then 368.78 revenue. So not bad. Honestly, I was really happy with this. I only posted two videos in that month. And then looking at my top videos, we're seeing more from December now. We're seeing another video from December popping up there. Plus that same one just going strong. You got another 15,000 plus views in this month. But it was always just so crazy to me that videos from December would just catch on the way that they did. August is where things start to really slow down again. I had 23,000 views, 2.4 thousand watch hours, plus 398 subscribers and $162.33 in revenue. And at this point I'm starting to panic because the number in revenue is going down and I don't know what to do about it. I posted three videos and one short in that month and my top content was that December 2021 video, that other December 2021 video, three from August and one from July. So at least like my content from that month was, you know, getting traction. My new subscribers, I guess, were really liking what I was doing. And so they were coming to my channel and that felt really nice. That momentum was really good. But I was honestly getting discouraged here and I remember it very vividly. I just remember really not knowing what to do and just kind of questioning how to how to build it back up again and feeling pretty pretty down about it. September is pretty similar. I posted three videos. I got 20,000 views, 2.2 thousand watch hours, 251,000 subscribers, and $162.20 revenue. Now I am seeing that my videos, I think at the time I wasn't really like sure how things were going but now that I look at these analytics they are pretty good and I'm really proud of myself for really sticking with it kind of during a tough time and also I remember just being so excited that my me made wardrobe planning video did well because I just wanted something to catch on again. In October we have 18,000 views, 1.9 thousand watch hours, 326 subscribers and 139.67 estimated revenue. I posted three videos in this month and I was starting to notice that my videos were hovering at the 1.3 to 1.8 sort of mark in terms of views. And I felt happy with that. I remember November really well. I was really burnt out. I started a new job um, and it was just feeling so intense with YouTube and my new job and everything being in a new city because we had moved to Montreal last year. And so there were 11.1 thousand views, 1,000 watch hours, 195 new subscribers, and 109.19 estimated revenue. I posted one video and one short. And December is going to be the most anticlimactic because I actually only posted one video again. And it was because I decided to take a break. I just actively was like, I'm only gonna post one video in December. I knew which video it was going to be. It's gonna be a recap video. And so I knew that that was what I wanted to do. And I was just gonna post that one video and I just gave myself a break because I was really at the edge um, and I knew it. I was just really tired and I just needed to, to reevaluate what I wanted from YouTube. And so I got 8,000 views, 689 watch time, 161 subscribers, and 59.37 ad revenue. And now at this point, it's just older videos that it's picking up on because I'm not putting out anything new. Um, and that didn't feel great. Uh, to, to not put out anything new, but I knew that that's what I had to do. Moving into January, new year, new me, I'm feeling reinvigorated, I'm ready to go. We posted a lot. I posted five videos, and then I posted two shorts. So I was like, it's time, let's let's get, let's go after it, let's go. So 33,000 views, 3.1 thousand watch hours, 436 new subscribers, and 186 revenue. A video that I had been really excited about was doing really well, and that felt, I was like, okay, we're on the right track. The strategy is good. Keep it going. 
and it all just kind of felt good from there. I was feeling really invigorated and excited, but still in that list, if you don't include the two reels, there's still that video, there's still that December video from 2021 that's like, I'm staying with you. And I am really grateful for that video. And then we'll move on to February. 24.9 thousand views, 1.5 thousand watch hours, plus 89 subscribers, and an estimated revenue of 109.08. And I posted a lot here as well. I am posting more shorts, so I did seven shorts. Okay, girl, chill. And then three videos. Oh, I did want to do more shorts because I skipped or I missed one upload that month. February was hard. I started to feel really down. I have just been, you know, starting this year going so hard and my videos weren't picking up the way that I was hoping that they would relative to the hard work that I was putting in. But I thought that I would, from a bit of a step back, having now reviewed all of this with you, talk a little bit about what I learned and then I'll let you know what I made, what my total was for the year. Let's get into that. Hello, new location unlocked. <laughs> we are in my living room on the couch. At this point, I have now shown you my past 12 months of being monetized. We've gone through the analytics. All that's left is for me to tell you what I made in a year as a new, small, crafty YouTuber. And that will come very soon, I promise. But first, I just wanted to talk through a couple of the lessons that I learned from this process and some of my strategies going forward. And so my number one lesson is to step back from my analytics. YouTube has this one one great little chart that can be awesome or it can be the worst and for me it's the worst it compares your last 10 videos and it ranks them based on how they stack up against each other in a certain time frame you get into a competition with yourself and I really was like I need to get this video to the top number one video and I would focus so minutely and I would my whole day would just be like thrown if it, the video was tanking when really I would go look at the video three weeks later and it would be maybe one of my top performers or it was just at, you know, it was a normal video with a normal ranking, doing well. The thing is that in the first few hours, in the first 24 hours, the first week, it doesn't necessarily matter. Show me what that video looks like in six months. Because I'll tell you that a video I posted, as you all saw in December, didn't really get pushed out until June. So that was a crazy amount of time that lapsed and I couldn't have seen that happening, but it was a good video. I put a lot of good effort into it and it got picked up for that reason. And so part of my strategy going forward is to make good quality videos, not to compete with myself, but because it matters to me. And so I'm now on a brand new camera, I'm very excited. And I you know, finally made the investment after two years of filming on my, my iPhone. And another lesson that I learned is to look at my analytics once a month and then once a quarter. So I will look at the once a month videos all at one time, see how they looked from, you know, in comparison to the month before. And then in a quarter, I will take all three months and see how they go. And then in the quarter, I will take the past three months and see you know, what sort of growth strategies I need to focus on moving forward. As I mentioned, it's going to be focused on making really good videos, really good storytelling, and I think just having fun and just being here and showing up and being myself. Maybe you skipped here, I don't know, but if you are waiting for the numbers, they're finally here. So let's get into it. I'm gonna pull my laptop up. So the final numbers from being monetized a full year are 368.5 thousand views, 34.7 thousand watch hours, 10.8 thousand subscribers, and $2,150.19 in revenue. I will never forget that one video that took off. I will never. I, I love that video. That video is so close to my heart. And if you wanna see it, you can click right here. It'll be on the screen and I will see you next time. Bye.